Yesterday, I had a very interesting comment on my YouTube channel, and this was after I posted my One Funnel Away unboxing challenge. So the question goes something like this. I've looked into Brunson's products before, seems overpriced and limited. Seems to me that all Brunson is selling is another page builder that is basically on his own platform. So really, you as a creator, you don't even own your own content, and also the page builder itself is very limited in what it can do. So you know what, I thought I could make this video and, and uh, talk about the differences between the two and you as the content creator or as an entrepreneur, you can decide what works best for you. And towards the end of this video, I'll also be talking about my experiences and what I recommend to you. So first of all, let's look at these two products. So over here, we have sales uh, click funnels and we also have WordPress. So WordPress is mainly a blogging and WordPress building platform. So that's what is mainly very, very good at. In fact, most or majority of websites out there on the internet are built using WordPress. Now let's take a look at ClickFunnels. Now on ClickFunnels side, this is mainly a sales and marketing funnel builder. Okay, so the main goal is to sell products with this platform. However, there are also other features where you can have a membership site, affiliates, uh, marketing automation and so on. But the most important thing here and the differences between the main two products is one, which is ClickFunnels is set to is set to make selling easy. So if you're an entrepreneur, business owner, it makes that whole sales process easy because it creates those pages for you and you can get your, your results really fast. On the WordPress side, it's mostly about building websites. So it does a very, very good job of that. Now, when I take a look at these two products, uh, on the WordPress side of things, you can make it work as a page builder. In fact, there's uh, quite a lot of plugins out there that you can use to replicate what pretty much ClickFunnels does. And that is also much cheaper if you were to do it that way. So you have to now add extra pieces of software for this to work. Now, this can be a very, I mean, this can be very challenging for, uh, for people out there because it needs some sort of uh, technical ability or the know-how of WordPress. And when things go wrong, you need to be able to go in and start fixing things. So for some people that may be a bit too much, to be honest, because it can be challenging. I've used WordPress for about 10 years. And even though I have the experience, I also have my frustrations sometimes when things don't work out, especially when you update plugins and they are plugged in conflicts. So on the other side, if you look at ClickFunnels, it's an all-in-one platform. So that means everything is under one roof. Uh, of course, it's, uh, it's uh, self-hosted, so you're not actually hosting it yourself, but it gives you that solution that everything is under one umbrella. All you have to do is just to learn how to use ClickFunnels, uh, the platform itself, and pretty much that's all you need. Whereas here on WordPress, uh, you have to learn WordPress itself, which is not too difficult. And by the way, I have a free WordPress course if you do decide to um, start learning how to use WordPress. The link will be in the description below. All right, so moving on, I digress there. <laughs> so with WordPress, you learn WordPress itself. And then as soon as you start adding these other plugins, some of these plugins come with their own complexity. So you have to learn how these plugins work in order for you to achieve your results. For example, let's say you want to set up your website, your WordPress website as a membership website. You could buy a plugin like MemberPress, but you do need to learn how that plugin works, how you can optimize it and make it work for you. And that has a learning curve. And let's say you want to turn your website into an e-commerce web, um, website. Again, you have to go in, set it all up and make sure everything is working okay. So as I mentioned before, this comes with a massive learning curve. So each item you add on to WordPress, you have to know how it works. And then on top of that, you have to also, uh, especially if you're hosting yourself, you have to find very good hosting companies because these websites, if you don't maintain them, they are also prone to attacks. So on ClickFunnels side, I haven't really heard of uh, ClickFunnels being down because it's been attacked or there's viruses and stuff like that. I may be wrong, I don't know, because I'm just also getting started with ClickFunnels just to see how these two platforms work and the benefits of each other. So I'm not here to say I'm an expert on um, ClickFunnels. 
this, these are just my observations and what I've learned about these two platforms so far. I mean, I've been using um, WordPress uh, mainly for the past 10 years and uh, page builders, of course, with, uh, with WordPress, but you know, the functions are definitely different. So if you're deciding whether to use ClickFunnels or WordPress, of course, the choice is, uh, is yours because you have to now look at, do I have the time to go in and start learning how WordPress works and learning all these plugins and also learning how to maintain your own website? Or do you just go with ClickFunnels and just learn one system and that's it? And also, if you're an entrepreneur and your goal is to sell products, there is training that comes on the ClickFunnels side. And they also, there's also a massive community that you get when you, uh, when you choose to go with ClickFunnels. So these are the sort of things that you have to weigh in. Now, if you ask me what would I recommend, I would say use both, okay? Not for the same purpose of uh, selling, but use WordPress as your blogging platform. Now, the reasons why you want to do that are... First of all, if you create content which is uh, SEO uh, rich, that means that each time people search on the internet for, your sp uh, for specific articles, your articles could be appearing. And as those articles appear, this is how you can you know, uh, increase your brand awareness. Or if you have affiliate links, you can also embed your affiliate links on your posts. And this is how you grow organically. Whereas on ClickFunnels, it's not a platform for blogging, so it won't do a good job of that. So this is why you need both. So your blogging platform is for your branding, just your uh, awareness, uh, writing articles, uh, and also projecting yourself as an expert because you're writing a lot of articles. So with that now, you can have your products in your blog posts or in your, um, in your website, which then you sell using ClickFunnels. So in there, you can have links that link to ClickFunnels. And then when you get to ClickFunnels, you get to a landing page, which then, you know, does your upsells, downsells, uh, order bumps, and so on. So that's how you would work with these two. And that's what I recommend. Having just um, ClickFunnels means your type of traffic that you have to rely on is probably going to be paid because you don't want, you don't really like um, care about the blogging side of things. So your traffic will primarily be um, paid. Whereas with the WordPress side of things, you know, you can start ranking slowly, slowly for your articles that you create. And depending on which niche that you choose, you can actually dominate and uh, get a lot of uh, clicks for free because you're uh, ranking organically. So this is my take on these two platforms. Like I said, I would use both of these platforms. And uh, by the way, if you want to learn how to design websites using WordPress or create your own blogs, I have a link in the show notes below, which you can go to and uh, sign up for my free course. In terms of WordPress, I mean, in terms of uh, ClickFunnels, I'm actually in the process of, of creating a course for Click ClickFunnels. So if you want to learn or get started with ClickFunnels, I will also leave a link in the show notes below where you can sign up for this uh, course. These two courses are absolutely free. So all you have to do is to go ahead and sign up for these courses. All right, guys, this is uh, my uh, video about WordPress versus ClickFunnels. Let me know what you think. I uh, may have been uh, missing a few things here. So uh, leave your comments in the comments box below. See you later.